In my previous position as an environmental consultant, I kind of had early exposure to what the energy industry kind of looks like and the challenges they have to deal with. So after doing some research about offshore wind and what possibilities there are, so I saw that as a chance to maybe introduce co-location to the U.S. offshore wind industry and love to hear how the public felt about it, which is what we collected in our data. Coupling multi multiple marine activities within the same area of ocean. You're kind of maximizing that space that's already destined for human activity. Especially in Virginia, we have imports and exports traffic and recreational and commercial fishing and those activities. And then also the migration patterns of animals in the ocean as well. So you, if you can kind of consolidate that business and all the other maritime activities into one area of ocean, you can kind of leave some of the other areas of the ocean open to all, all those other activities and hopefully disturb a little bit less. So the main goals for our research were to, one, get the word out about co-location and the opportunities that are associated with the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Farm, and also understand Virginia preference for certain co-location activities that we saw as readily compatible with the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Farm. And we wanted to quantify those preferences using willingness to pay values. So the regulators and the industry professionals within the offshore wind industry and seafood and offshore industries in general can utilize those willingness to pay values to understand in the future whether or not these co-location activities can be feasible based on how much it would actually cost to implement and maintain these co-location activities versus how much the public is willing to pay for each of these activities. Mostly what our results told us was that the public was interested in co-location and they were interested in all of the co-location activities. So that basically just really tells us that there should be more research done about this and the public's interested in, you know, maybe regulators or the offshore wind industry might have some support if they were to pursue co-location in Virginia.